What's going on everybody? CryptCityJ here, ready to bring you episode number 9 of our Pokemon Radical Red Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, which if you haven't seen yet, make sure you go check it out because there will be some spoilers in 3, 2, 1, drop it. And uh, so yeah, we lost one Pokemon, we lost uh, Liz, which was our Salazzle, which I'm a little disappointed in because I, did, I do like Salazzle. Um, but we did beat um, lots of trainers actually we beat a rival. We beat Brendan. We beat uh, Faulkner We beat uh, Brock. So we beat quite a bit of people um, Only lost one Pokemon. So not horrible. It's just again. I wish I wouldn't have lost him But here's our team that we're rocking with right now uh, The level cap was 15, but since we beat Brock the level clap level cap is now up to level 27 um, and we are going to be going to get more encounters as well as uh, You know facing trainers and making our way through Mount Moon and the route To the uh, the west or no not west east of Tudor City here. So I believe we'll get stopped here. Yep And he'll give us something oh, That's right. Our mother doesn't love us in this game. I forgot about that. But yeah, there we go. We got the Dynamax band so we'll be able to uh, uh, Dynamax and do dens and things and stuff and things All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take on some of the trainers here in round three uh, Then I'll get my encounter and then we'll get the dead, dead encounter So if anything interesting happens before the encounters, I will let you know All right guys, we are back. We didn't have any trouble with the uh, the trainers over on this route so far um, But we are ready to get our route three encounter plus there's a TM down there I don't remember what it is, but we'll get that as well so let's see what we get. Oh, here we go. That was quick. Okay. Okay. A Toxapex. I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. All right. We got him in the yellow. So we're going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Hopefully we get him or her. I'm sorry. Get her. One, two, three. I was about ready to celebrate. I was about ready to celebrate. One. Two, three. Just teasing me here. Just teasing me. One, two, three. Yes, there we go. There we go. We got Toxapex, ladies and gentlemen. Toxapex, let's go. Let's name her Toxic. That's mostly what I'm be using her for. Toxic. So it is a neutral nature with, you know, super high defenses, which I knew. Um, particularly hits poison to foes. Okay. Uh, peck, bite, and toxic spike. Toxic spikes are what I'm, you know, most excited about. Okay, teleport. Okay, guys, we are here out in front of the den. Let's go ahead and see what we get. All right, what are we going to get? and execute okay not the best i mean it might be decent against misty the only problem is she does have um psychic type well there we go got him now we just gotta catch him I didn't even shake well that's another encounter we failed so guys, the good news is we do have an encounter right here. Um, I believe this is the magic carp guy. They'll study you. Yep. Ooh, we got a rock rough. We don't really need to use it right now, but I do kind of like that. We got a rock rough. Like I already have a rock type Pokemon and it's not going to help us with uh, Misty. So I probably won't use it now, but I'm not mad about a rock. Rough. Okay guys, so um, I'm going to train up a little bit before we go into Matt Moon. Um, I think I want to get everybody to like 19 at least. Um, so I'm going to do that and then we'll head into Matt Moon and get an encounter in there. Alright, here we go. What are we going to get? Ooh, I'm okay with that. Time pull? I like time pull. One, two, three. Got him. Yeah, let's go. Got her. Sorry. Her. Okay, 
So I think I've got a name for our time pole. I'm gonna call her Tiana from Princess and the Frog because in the movie, Tiana gets turned into a frog and we all know time pole evolves into a frog eventually. So we're gonna go to Tiana. All right guys, let's take a look at Tiana and see, uh, see what we got. There's a lax nature, which is plus defense, minus special defense. We've got swift swim, which raises the speed and rain, like, okay. Uh, bubble growl and super sonic. All right, let's get uh, Tiana trained up a little bit. And I'm going to go back into Mount Moon and uh, I'll see you when we get to the, uh, the den. All right, guys, we are outside of this den here. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Hopefully we get something good. Something good again. Misty would be great. Beating, let's go. Star Raptor, let's get it. Clutch, my guy. All right, here we go. Come on, let's get it. Come on, fingers crossed. I want the Star Raptor. Star Raptor is so good. One, two, three. I haven't got a single den Pokemon. What the hell, guy? What's up, everybody? I'm back. We made it through most of Mountain Moon. All we got left is this fossil guy sitting here. And then uh, my Team Rocket Admin next, which is going to be a little bit difficult. But let's go ahead and uh, take this dude on. Get the fossil. I was going to start with a Mr. Mine. Ooh, it's a Valerian. So we've got our rock rough here, which I did, you know, as you can tell, add to the party just because, like, I was kind of leveling everybody up and I didn't want to over level people. Um, so I went ahead and switched, you know, rock rough in for Toxic, I believe. So, like I said, I didn't really want to be over leveled and I felt like I was getting kind of over leveled. Um, so like I said, switched people out, trained up a little bit. Um, and we show. We shall see how it goes with Archer. His his Mighty Yenna is level 21, and then he's got an 18 Impidimp and a 19 Hound Hour. So I'm a little over leveled. We got Helix. Or the Dome Fossil. Let's take the Dome Fossil. I always like Kabuto better than uh, Ammonite, so I mean, if we ever get to revive these, it won't be, you know, those Pokemon, but still. All right, I'm all ready to go. We got to face Archer here. There it is. Hey, you wait right there. I read this last time, so I'm just gonna skip through it. Talk about a twerp. He's mad at me. Take him out. So he's gonna start with an impotent. Oh, I should have paid attention to him. Most likely gonna fake out right off the bat here. Yeah, okay. He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna go into Mydiana. Okay. And I'm fully paralyzed. Going to Ray. Okay. There goes the Mightyena. Going on to Hound Dower. I'm going to go into Tiana, actually. There goes my berry, which took. Hidden power of what? Oh shit. HP grass. Oh, I didn't look at that. I didn't look. I didn't look at the movesets. I'm pissed. I wanted. Uh, I didn't look at the moveset. I didn't know. Didn't look at his move set. Yeah, I knew I was gonna go fake out. I'm so salty right now. Well, we got through it, but lost somebody. 
Claus, one of our newest members, who I was super excited to be using. A Reptar companion, even though he doesn't have arms. Okay, guys, we are on the route that is west of Cerulean City, uh, where we can get our next encounter. Hopefully, get something good because we failed a lot of encounters already, which is super disappointing. So let's, let's get something good here. We could use something uh, to help us with Misty a little bit. Ooh, a Glaceon. That's kind of cool. I'm a little worried to attack again because the crit would kill, I believe. Two. Three? Stupid Glaceon. Stay in the damn ball. Maybe it wants a Premier Ball. Let's try a Premier Ball. One. Two. Three. That's what it was. I just wanted a Premier Ball. Just wanted a Premier Ball. Okay, and I got the perfect name, I think. I'm gonna call him Jack Frog. Awesome, we got Jack Frost, our Glaceon. Let's go. All right, guys, we have another den encounter here also to the west of Cerulean City. So let's go ahead and get our encounter here as well. Hopefully we get, you know, again, something good. Glaceon might not be too bad against Misty, but I'm hoping for something a little bit better. So Diggers B, don't get me wrong, Diggers B is pretty good Pokemon, but again, not helpful versus Misty. It's helpful versus Surge when we get there, but not Misty. Got it. All right, I hope we can catch him. Again, we've failed a lot of encounters already. Dude. Come on, fingers crossed, stay in the ball. Like, I know you're not good against Misty, but I do want you still. What the heck? All right, guys, real quick, uh, there is an egg here in this town that I kind of forgot about, so we're going to get that encounter here in a little bit. Um, but I had to make room in my party, so I dropped off our Fuji uh, here. And you know what? We should totally take, we should probably take a look at Jack Frost, see how they're looking. So, minus special attack, plus speed, that is not very good. Ice body, um, slight HP recovery and hail, with helping hand tackle, baby doll eyes, and quick attack. Not the greatest, but we can train it up. Hopefully it'll learn something good. Okay guys, I accidentally hit A when it came up and it was on speed up. So it really went really quickly to this. But our egg is a Mightyena. We need to name it, huh, female Mightyena. Okay, I have a name that, I mean, honestly, it doesn't, like it'd probably fit better if it was a male Mightyena, but I still really like the name and so we're gonna do it. Uh, Fenrir, which if you don't know what Fenrir is, that is the uh, the wolf from North mythology that helps start Ragnarok. Modest nature, not the best. Moxie though, knocks out boost attack. Okay, that's not bad though. We got sweet that gust poison scene confuse ray. I feel like the eggs are a little glitched <laughs> in my game right now. Okay. Okay, also, uh, let's take a look at Jack Frost. I did change his nature or her nature. No, his nature. His nature. Um to modest. So plus special attack minus attack. And you know, looking much better now. Much better. Alright, let me let me train up a little bit some of our new team members, and then we've got our rival coming up. And we'll see how that goes. Okay guys, we are going to take on our rival here um, in a little bit. And uh, that's probably going to be where we end the episode. I'll show you where I got all my Pokemon to and what I'm using right now. Here's what we got. Uh, we're a little over leveled. I didn't mean to get everybody up this high. I needed, I just wanted to get these two up to level 21 was kind of my goal. Because um, his ace, our rival's ace is level 21. So I wanted to get these up to level 21. Again, didn't mean to get these guys up so high, but it is what it is. So let's take on our rival. Yo, crit! Come on, Jake. Let's take you down. 
taking Jake down. Oh, so they start with a Curlia. That's what they're going to start with. Yep. So I've got my Mandibuzz here. And we're going to just thief. That way we can take whatever item they're holding. Or nothing. Am I not, am I able, maybe I'm not able to take them against in, in a battle like this. Oh, and I forgot to mention, our uh, Rock Ruff evolved into a Lycanroc. Uh, and I had speed up on, and I was kind of hoping for a Lycanroc uh, duff form, so I needed to do it at night. Um, but it is what it is. You know, it's all good. Um, what do we got? I got a Rock Ruff coming in. Um, should have paid more attention. Let's go into Jack Frost. No, Jack Frost is weak to this, isn't he? That was stupid. Okay. <laughs> the only person is a Reptar. Oof. I messed up. I do have power up punch though. Okay, so it's boosting its attack. I don't know how Reptar is punching, but I have power punch. So they also have a Star Ravia and then their starter. I have a starter, okay. Unfortunately, I do need to switch out. I'd like to switch out into Jack for us, but I think that's too risky to be injured already. So we're just gonna go out the trigger. Bullet speed. According to this, the Ivysaur should have a Citrus Berry, so if we pluck, we should be able to eat that. Yeah, there we go. Heal back up. I mean, we didn't heal up a lot, but you know what? We'll take it. Blue Powder, nice. You missed. Love to see it. And then last but not least is the Star Rage. Yeah. With his intimidation. Um, Fervia, it says Fervia has no item. We need that, okay. And we, we should have this right here. That's GG's, that was easy. Like I said, I was a little over leveled, but I'd rather be over leveled than under leveled. And with the way the game is, they do put a level cap on it. Um, so like I won't be over level for Misty, for example. Be right on target. And we got our Poker Rider, let's go. And now we can travel between places. Alright guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Um, like I said, we were gonna, but this is where I wanted to end it. Next time we will be taking on um, Bugsy, which honestly I don't think we should have too much of a problem with. We do have what two rock type and we have flying type up the water do don't think we'll have too much of an issue with bugsy this time um and then after bugsy we'll take on misty which misty is the one that i'm worried about we really don't have a ton for misty uh we do get some more encounters coming up there's what two routes and two uh dens so we'll get four more encounters hopefully we'll get something out of those that will help us with misty and we'll find out. But I want to thank you again. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to get the heck out of here. Peace.